What's up everyone, welcome back to the shop. I have been cleaning this place for what feels like the first time in months. And what I noticed is I'm in desperate need of some storage. Let me show you. This area of the shop is the bane of my existence. And that's because there's no place for anything. I, I keep my sled, my table saw sled right here, other jigs that I make, uh, random cutoffs that I use on the, the miter gauge, I'll, I'll put over here. But then also I have stop locks and, and push sticks and all kinds of clamps. Um, down here in the drawer, I keep saw blades. And it's just a hassle to get anything out and move things around. So what I'm thinking is, I need to build some sort of storage unit right here under this wing. I'm not really sure of the final look of this whole thing. We're gonna kind of design on the fly, but there's a couple things I do know that I want. I need an open area here so I can get to the handle so I can turn my table saw blade. I need an area that I can slide my table saw sled into. I would like some sort of shelf, maybe a pull-out drawer, I don't know, a tray, something like that, so that I can put push sticks and things like that right here, it's easy to grab. And I also want something for me to hang table saw blades because I'm one of those weirdos that changes the blade all the time. I also have this giant mess here underneath my table and that's because there's not really any storage, it's just a big shelf. And most of the stuff is for the table saw. It's jigs and things like that that I've, I've made videos on that I use, but there's no storage area for it. So what I'm hoping is whenever I make the storage, I'll have some spot for some of those jigs to go into. And if there's not a spot and I'm not using that jig, I probably need to get rid of it. Even though I've worked up a sweat and I'm in the middle of cleaning, I think I just need to take a time out and build some storage. That way I have some place to put some of this stuff and it's gonna make cleaning the rest of the shop much easier. So to start, let's build a carcass rectangle out of some three quarter inch plywood and uh, then we'll just design from there. I cut dados in the sides and that houses the top and the bottom. So we have a good clean look here and I plan on gluing in and screwing this uh, together. You won't see the screws because they're either gonna be underneath or they're gonna be covered up by the table saw. So now we can tackle the back panel. And there's a couple ways you can do this. You could assemble the whole thing and then take a rabbiting bit and a router and then go around and cut a rabbit and then have your back panel sit in a place. Or you do like me, which is I'm gonna go ahead and cut the rabbit now then assemble it and I can use the back panel to help me make sure everything is square. I cut my rabbit for the back panel, which is just gonna be a piece of quarter inch plywood. And now I'm gonna work on a divider. I wanna have a divider uh, a little offset from the center here, and that's gonna be three quarter inch plywood. So I'm gonna cut a dado in the top and in the bottom to house that piece of plywood. And then once that's done, we can assemble this whole thing. made a lot of progress. So the next step is I wanna have a panel over here that I can pull all the way out and that would have saw blades and miter gauges and, and that kind of stuff on it. So to do that, I think what I need to do is make a giant tray. So just like you'd have a tray in a drawer that has sides, but then turn it over on its side and that will give me enough meat here on the top and the bottom to attach drawer slides. And I might put some sort of handle or something on here, I'm not really sure yet, but I wanted to pull all the way out as far as I can get it and have 
easy access to all of my stuff, slide it right back into place. New day in the shop, and I did some thinking. And I think that having a tray towards the top of the cabinet is gonna work out best for me because that's where I'll put push blocks and stop blocks, things like that that I, I need quick access to. So I threw together a tray. The tray fit in perfectly, slides nice and smooth, and that's gonna work out awesome for things like my push sticks. They're gonna fit right in here. I'll probably make a couple little holders and stuff for some of this stuff, just for organization purposes. Now, at this point, we could say this whole thing is done, but I do have this extra sheet of cutoff plywood, and I'm thinking I'll put a door on the front of this just to help keep some of the sawdust out of it. So I went out, I grabbed some soft closed hinges, I've never installed these particular ones, so this should be fun. So let's throw a door on this thing.
can't believe it took me that long to get around to building this project because it's gonna be a complete game changer when it comes to shop organization. I highly recommend, if you have a table saw and you have a wing and you have that empty space there, do something with it. You won't regret it. Now, I definitely have room left in that cabinet for other things. So if you've got some ideas on shop organization, let me know. I am all ears. Hopefully this video will inspire you to make something similar for your shop. So uh, I guess at this point, I have to get back to cleaning. So um, I'm gonna do that while uh, you get in your shop and build something awesome. <laughs>